got really long arms. Look at that. Mother would have shown these posers a thing or two. Pull a body up from a Morley bog after a year or so. See what that does to the skin and bones. <laughs> This one does. Blast resistant. You take less damage from explosions. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's a good one. Alright. Well. So many days until the next red moon. Let's see. Um, it was six? Three? last night. My body's dead tired. Can't keep up. Supplies are running low, too. knew a kid who said his bone charm would make bullets bounce off his skin. He shot himself in the stomach and died a day later. Wow. Agility. Nice. Higher jump height and distance. Can't have that. Don't know what he don't know what we did right, but we crafted a mighty powerful bone charm this time. Jeanette says it's the reward for beating the brute, so spread the word.
Mark my words. One of us from the Old Coven will control these buffoons. Sooner or later. Dear Alma, your last letter tore my heart out. With you begging me to quit the Eyeless Gang and come home, whatever gruesome tales you heard, the Eyeless aren't bloodthirsty brutes like hatters or howlers. They know things, secret things. They're teaching me how to make medicines and brew potions, and even carve my own bone charms for the occult boxing fights. If I keep winning matches, I'll catch Jeanette's, uh, Jeanette Lee's eye. She's the boss here at the Albuquerque, and if I work for her, the coin will come rolling in, more than I ever made toiling in the docks. Sad news about Graham's fever. I can't spare any coin, but here's some dried raven beak of, for a poultice. Boil it down with yarrow root in a copper pot and spread it thick on Graham's chest. She'll be right as crystal rain in no time. Your brother, Rory. Okay. Stefan, what did I tell you? Glad we stole those blueprints last much month. Sure, those parts were hard to find, but these hook mines are already making themselves useful. Snatched up an overseer trying to sneak in here. Wish I could have seen what his face looked like under that mask when he hooks got in and dragged him up. Would have paid a lot of coin to see that. But someone in this district is telling tales about us to the Abbey of the Everyman. Those witch hunters won't show mercy if they find out what we're doing here. Best find out which of our neighbors has a loose tongue. See if they can still snitch without it. And keep the tongue, we can use that. In the meantime, throw a rock or a rat up in the, at this fool. See if you can make him twitch. I'll get more hook mines made as soon as I can. Abrella. Oh, that sounds a little nasty. That's what hearing. Hi, Pistol. Oh, God. <clears throat> There's a white pupper. Oh, I don't thought it hurt me. So, does the hook kill them when it pulls them up, I wonder? I won't use them if it kills. How training. Are you beauties ready for my fighting ring? Soon. I don't know how to spar yet. Loose the beasts and they savage anything that moves, friend or foe. Found an old beggar to train him up. The brutes ripped him to meat gobbets in a blink. Good. We want them vicious. Find some more beggars to train them on. But keep a watchful eye when you're dumping the bodies next time. We don't need the guards sniffing around here again. Interesting. Alright. Well... Jeanette, remember these old wall of light parts you found near the dockyards? Well, I found a way to make use of them. 
turns out there's a part in them that powers the whole thing. So I took it out of the took it out of all the rusty coils, and now we got these little things to stun folks if they get out of hand. I call them electrical bursts. You're welcome. I've already seen folks sling them at rats and keep them out of the storerooms, but it makes them tense up and ruins the meat. Can't even make liquor from them when they're like that. Better to use them on larger vermin, you get me? Ew. One last thing, do not touch the tip. And by the outsider, do not lick it. I wish I didn't have to make that clear, but Lacey, but Lacey did on a bet and it took hours to wake her up and now she's got no eyebrows. Not from the electricity, just because someone shaved them off when she was out cold. But we told her it was the electricity. Leon. Wow, you guys are jerks. Swarm of rats you cross paths with mentioned there being wolf hounds in the passage right ahead. Yeah, it's good to know. Something where this bone charm is though. It must be down here. Oh yes, this is so I can incinerate the white one. Yes. Alright, we're going back. So that's downstairs where I would have gotten up here if I had decided to go all loud and killy. Six out of five. Is that upstairs, maybe? Here's what you asked for. Weren't too hard to find, but you know, they're not real pearls, right? Six years at sea should have taught you that. Hags must spit, spit them up when they ate something bad. A rat falls in their mouth, and two weeks later, a bunch of these come out, waxy and full of little bones. Or they swallow up the silver teeth out of a dead man's head, and it's made them too heavy to swim right. Either way, it means they shove these things out one end or another. Probably why they smell awful. Ambergris? When they're dried out and turned stiff, and I've seen street kids pitch them at folks with slings, but dock workers say they're unlucky. Cut open hagfish belly and a bunch of these pour out, you'd better take care. 
Your gran used to collect them, had a string of them around her wrist, and when she wanted someone's luck turned, she'd whisper their name to it and slip it in their pocket. Worked half the time, at least. Might help you out someday. Who knows? Just don't eat one. Visit again soon, Aunt Flora. Hag Pearl, huh? Wait, what do I do with Hag Pearls? Hag Pearls are non-lethal near standard projectiles that can be thrown by pressing right. They deal no damage, and while they do not break physical objects, their impact can be used to distract enemies. Once upgraded, you can also charge your shot using right click and aim for the head and knock the target unconscious. Hag Pearls bounce and impact and, and are can be retrieved for you. Oh! Like throwing stones in other games. Oh, that's cool. Steal the device key, I didn't know I was supposed to be doing this. Oh, shush. Alright. Oopsie. What you two said you get us over here. Alright, so what's this button do? Open the door? Probably. Well, let's see. Try one of these on the dogs. Toggle lethal. Hold on. Toggle lethal. Saved in a while. Okay, so that sort of kind of did didn't work. Those are cool, but they were non-lethal, I guess. Well, then, let's see what lethal variants do, shall we? It's a non-lethal. Right All right, so blue is non, reddish blue is. How many of you are there? Three? All right, and just for sake of safety, I'm gonna have one of these ready. Hey, get off me! Get the hell off me! There we go! That took care- oh god, that really did take care of you. Oh, there's only half of- where's the other half of the white one? And this one's unconscious. Okay. I'm gonna finish you off, though. Alright, so let's go... Peek into the restroom. Yeah, that goes downstairs. Alright, I'm not sure if you are the one I need to burn, but I'm gonna take you to burn. What the... Hey! Get in there. Actually, I can fit, I can fit more than one. Get rid of the, oh, there's the other half of him. Stuck to the thing. Okay. Sliced him in half. Dang, those hooks are. Those hooks are a little dangerous. Alright. 
A, I want to get rid of the evidence, and B, I don't want these. I don't know that it would necessarily happen, but I don't want to come back later and have freaking blood flies or whatever skipping around here. No? Alright. So I'll get the money at the end of the mission for that. Long charm there. Where? Game. Where is the long charm? Oh. What if it's you know what? That goes down. Let's keep going this way then. that it was. Some whale bone bits. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's about like everything. Oh, here, I'll eat this. And this. Anyone who spent time on the water knows what these are. Lucky Charms. Scrimshaw. Witchcraft, if you want. Whatever you call them, these fancy bits of bone can be worth a fortune if they make good on their promise. Sometimes you'll find one on a dead howler or grizzler. Some lifeless bootlickers last hope in a fight. You'll never find one on a dead eyeless. You know why? Because the eyeless make good on their promises. You know things... We know things the Abbey don't want you to know. And not just a bomb to clear that rash you got in an alley. Ugh. But... How to scratch up a bit of whalebone so you don't feel pain in a fistfight. How to make even the most sharp-eyed guard miss you in the street. Even how to get the outsider's ear and ask him a thing or two. You won't believe what we can do until you see it yourself. Until you see all those dead howlers at your feet and hold it a bit, hold a bit of lucky bone to thank you for it. All it takes is some ink under the skin and a couple of sleepless nights, and this city could be yours. Sure. All right. Well, I am actually. Yep, I'm gonna stop it here for this week, everyone. And we'll continue on. I got the key for the machine, which probably means I can just easily turn it off. I'm assuming this takes me down. Where does this take me? Oh yeah, it took me to the showers. All right, cool. But I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna stay up here at the top of the stairs, just in case. All right, everyone, so, 
If you haven't done so already, hit that like button. As always, I do appreciate your comments. If you could hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you can keep up to date on all my videos. And if you could share my channel and videos or on social media, around the internet, and wherever else you think it might be helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated as it is your support that keeps this channel going. So, until next time everyone, as always, please, stay safe out there. Thank you.